Hello everyone, welcome to Ackerman Recap, and today we will explore an amazing world within the realm of anime. At the scene, two elderly individuals were astonished by the situation, as Pickle had just broken the door and made his escape. He simply wanted to find a high spot to sit and enjoy the lights. A tall man was searching for a place to relieve himself, choosing an incredibly desolate spot to let out his pent-up flood. However, surprise struck when a sudden hand grabbed him and pulled him in. Despite his resistance, it was in vain. This young man, Pickle, had assumed the guise of an intellectual to join the community, arousing curiosity and leading everyone around to believe he was a true player. Even when Pickle was sent flying hundreds of meters by a collision with a truck on the road, he quickly got up and stared at the truck as if it were a challenging rhinoceros. He promptly engaged in a wild altercation with the truck, leaving everyone in awe as if he were a monster, not a human. But the first action that caught him off guard was when the roof of the cabin fell, forcing him to the ground. However, this didn't dent his confidence. Instead, he continued to wrestle with the cargo container, and all his efforts were not in vain as it contained a plethora of delicious fresh meat, captivating him in an endless eating frenzy. On the other side, Katsumi tirelessly trained to enhance his martial arts skills. Anger was evident on his face as he endured insults from Yujiro driving him to prove his true abilities. Recently, Pickle managed to escape the control of the elderly Toku in the martial arts arena, presenting a prime opportunity for Katsumi to showcase his talent. His determination rallied a crowd of up to 55,000 fellow martial artists, all sharing a common goal, to seek Pickle and avenge Retsukayo. Meanwhile, Pickle found himself lured into a love hotel by an attendant, with incredibly alluring women welcoming him. However, before Pickle could make a move, a member of Katsumi's gang appeared and intervened. Yet it seemed this hotel attendant wasn't very cooperative, prompting him to call upon 500 associates to surround the scene, forcing the little guy to yield the space to this special guest. But at that moment, Hanayama appeared. It seemed like someone had arrived in the territory to stir up trouble. Hanayama's men quickly closed in on their opponent and issued threats, but before they could even finish speaking, they were swiftly kicked away with a knife. Pickle and Hanayama engaged in an extraordinary knife-wielding handshake, leaving everyone in awe of their coolness. In a rapid moment, Pickle launched a decisive attack on his opponent. The soldier saw it coming and tried to counter, but his hand was crushed, breaking his bone. After dealing with the situation, Pickle turned his back and walked away, disregarding the interference of Katsumi's gang. Hanayama returned for a showdown with Pickle, managing to block the opponent's powerful strike and surprising Pickle, who had to admit the incredible strength of Hanayama, equating it to that of a three-horned dinosaur. Hanayama quickly countered with full force, and just as it seemed there would be a double-handed duel, unexpectedly, Baki stepped in. Pickle noticed the Hanma bloodline flowing within Baki and respected that strength, leading them both to exchange legendary punches. Baki performed a surprising 360-degree turn and countered with a kick, making him realize that Pickle possessed a power on par with his grandfather's. Pickle was intrigued by Baki and wanted to fight him. Old man Tokugawa grew fearful upon seeing Pickle, intending to attack Baki, concerned about facing Yujiro's wrath if Baki were harmed. However, young Baki refused to listen and engaged in banter with Pickle, earning himself a kick that sent him flying up into the stands. He then danced a wild dance to taunt his opponent. But Baki was already unconscious, so old man Tokugawa wanted to quickly remove him as he probably didn't have any bones left intact after lying here for a while. 